murder really means to live life golden Yeah, we're golden, baby girl, we're golden Yeah, about to see it shine, cause we're golden Okay, so before we start the video, I would like to give a huge, huge shout out to Mr. At the iDevice Archive. He's the one who provided us with the custom iOS 7 Beta 1 IPSW so we can install it till this date. So we're not stuck in 2013, alright? And of course, to thanks, of course, again to Coolbooter and all the people who are developing the Coolbooter app. Okay, so quick little story here, alright? If you have an iPhone 4S, or if you're gonna install this on the iPhone 4S, you have to have some kind of special method to do this, alright? So, if you guys don't know, this iPhone 4S is supposed to be running iOS 8.4.1. I did this yesterday and it won't boot, so I tweeted at the iFS Archive for asking for help and he kindly replied to me, so thank you to Mr. Artifice Archive, and he said that I should, I need that I need to restore to 6.1.3 and update via OTA to 8.4.1 so that's what I did here so you can see this is uh, 8.4.1 right there I still get the iOS 6 wallpaper on deck so of course after you restore you have to jailbreak just like you know it needs to be jailbroken again here in order so we can install the necessary tweaks alright so now let's go to the tutorial Okay, once the city has started, we're gonna add the source here. So I'll go to edit and add on the sources tab, and then we're gonna type in coolbooter.com, add source. Okay, once the add the source is added, we're gonna, we're gonna install some tweaks. So the first tweak we're gonna install is coolbooter CLI, which is the main part to install here. So coolbooter, coolbooter CLI, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on modify install and put that on the queue all right so because we're gonna install some more stuff okay now only for the iphone 4s because it's a special device all right if you guys have like running this on the iphone 4 or other device other than the 4s you have to install this but if you guys install this on the iphone 4s just like i do install this tweak which is cool booter and tether right so tap install continue queuing again Install Coolbooter Untethered if you're doing this on the iPhone 4S. If you don't, then skip on that little thing. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna install is M Terminal. M Terminal, right, go ahead and tap it, hit install, and put that on the queue one more time. The next tweak we're gonna install is Apple File Conduit 2. Okay, hit, hit install. And now we hit confirm because this is all of the tweak that we have to install. Alright, so just wait for it to all of them to download and install. And I'll be right back. Okay, so once all those tweaks are installed, we're gonna go ahead and download and install iPhone Box. iPhone Box is also compatible with Windows and Mac, so no operating system barriers here. We good to go. So open up iPhone Box right here. And also remember to connect your phone to the computer. Once you see your phone here, we're gonna go to raw file system. We're gonna go to far. We're gonna go to C booter, and we're gonna drag the IPSW that we just downloaded specifically for your device. All right. So I do have again here the iPhone 4s iOS 7 beta 1 IPSW. So we just drag it into the C booter file folder and wait for it to copy. Okay. So once the IPSW file is copied to your phone, we're gonna open up terminal. Okay, so once terminal is open, let me zoom out. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys here. Once this terminal is just open, we're gonna type in su, hit enter, and password. We're gonna put in alpine as the password. A L P I N E. Okay, so once inside the root folder, we're gonna type in cool booter space seven dot zero. Oh, sorry, not cool booter. Cool booters. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> Alright, um, 
No, you can't do that. Alright, so we're gonna type in cool booter CLI space 7.0 B1. Okay, and hit enter. Now it will read where this DIPSW is and install the iOS 7 beta IPSW. Alright, so I will be right back once this is finished installing. Okay, so once your device is rebooted back to iOS 8 after it restarted via the terminal, you have to connect your phone again here for the 4S here again, especially for the 4S, you have to connect your phone again to the computer and open up iPhone box again, okay? Now I will I will put these the file, this two file here, the fixed IBSS and, and the IPEC file in the description below so you guys can download it. Of course, I will give the credits for the person who gave it I kind of forgot I'm really sorry right now but I will give the maximum credit for that guy to share the files all right so once you extract the yeah, zip file just basically open up iPhone box go to raw file system and you can see these two files here called IPEC and IPSS all right so what you want to do is just select it all and just replace it once it's inside here all right so it's I don't know if it's replaced or not. So again, just double check it. Okay, make sure it's just copy, just copy like multiple times until you're really sure that it's already overwritten. All right. So let's go back to the device again. Okay. So once you got the files copied, just reboot your phone now because we installed Cool Booter Untethered iOS 7 should be booting immediately. Now, if you guys have problems, like for some reason after it rebooted via the terminal. And you never ever boot again. I will show you guys the fix, alright? But I'm gonna show you guys that iOS 7 boots up first, right? So once the screen is up, okay, you gotta turn it on, you gotta turn the phone on, back on. And if you want to guys, if you guys want to reboot back to iOS 8, which is like I found this earlier. So once you turn on the phone, when you, immediately when you saw the when, immediately when you saw the Apple logo you have to press and hold the volume down button until the iOS 8 or 9 or whatever OS you on started, okay? Okay, and there we go. We successfully booted iOS 7 beta 1 back in 2013, man. A beta from 2013, man. Booted in 20. Oh, oh, listen, listen, listen to this, man. Apple removed this. Apple removed this. Listen to this. Ooh, that is so classic, man. Back in the days with Apple still working on iOS 7 beta 1. Speaking of iOS 7 beta 1, man, this is actually the one of the first iOS betas that I ever tried because we are all, all of us, I mean, very excited. I mean, this is the first radical change. Oh, look at that. Okay, I don't want to share my password, but look at that. It shows the blue, it shows a blue dot instead of a black dot. See? By the way, yeah, continue on as I was speaking. The, uh, the iOS 7 beta is the, actually the first beta I actually installed on my old iPod Touch 5th generation. You guys watch like on my really, really oldest video. I think that's about, that's one video about iOS 7, I think beta 3 or beta 4. Yeah, it's pre max days, man. After that, uh, I accidentally put that iPod in the water. So it's that with iOS 7 beta on it. And yeah, oh yeah, by the way, you can see here, um, Apple for some reason have this kind of weird activation problem where you don't, where you don't have to, oh sorry, where you don't have to use a SIM card, so that's cool. Yeah, but look at this, man. Look at those fonts, man. It's very, very thin. I'm sorry about the framing. I'm really, really sorry. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay, agree. You see, man. Look at this font, man. The font is like thin font, man. 
Welcome to iPhone. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, wow! Like, you can notice the different, man. Wow, look at that. iOS 7 Beta 1. Look at those, those like, hard lines and stuff. And, of course, let's, for, let's go to the... One of the iconic iOS 7 beta applications, which is settings. Ooh, that slow animation. Oh, look at that, man. That just plain blue logo. No shades of colors, no none that. I don't have any iOS device with me at the moment to try that. I mean, I do have this iPhone 4, but it's uh, it's completely dead here, as you can see here. Yeah, this, thing, this battery is not yet. By the way, all right, look at that, man. It's so nice, man. Okay, about, there you go, 7.0, beta 1. You can see the storage here, we got 2 gb of storage because of cool booter. But yeah, there you go guys, iOS 7 beta 1 on the iPhone 4S in 2018. I mean, oh my god, look at this man, look at that slide to unlock man. You don't have that little arrow, you still have the little unlock sound. Let me listen to this, Shh. Let me listen, listen, listen to this. Ooh, that feels nice, man. That feels nice. All right, so there you go. Play around with iOS 7 Beta 1 if you guys happen to got the experience of it. There you go, All right? I mean, I'm actually pretty impressed that you can actually install like a, what is it? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, like a five-year-old beta. A five-year-old iOS beta that you can install in 2018. Mind-blowing. Going. All right, so thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you guys have, have any problem here Oh, yeah, by the way, in fact, let me show you guys here Watch this watch this. Ooh, look at that man That look at that. iOS, iOS 7 beta doesn't have that little arrow thing. Look at that man. It looks so nice man I love that animation. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys for example a you want to uninstall this iOS 7 beta or and B if you want to boot your main OS, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that real quick, so you guys don't get a little confused and all that. Here, here's how to do it. All right, so we'll wait for this to turn off real quick. This is still a beta, so this is still a beta firmware. Takes a while. Okay, so we're gonna turn the device, and immediately once the Apple logo shows up, we're gonna keep pressing the volume down button until the iOS 8 boots up. Right, so one, two, three. Apple will be showed up, press the, press the volume down button until it boots up to iOS 8. Just keep pressing the whole button. I know you guys might be a little tired. I'm kind of tired right now. But just keep pressing that, whole, that volume down button, man. <laughs> just keep pressing that volume down button, man. I'm really tired right now of pressing this, home but this power button. All right, there we go. You've successfully booted to your main OS. All right, so you can see here, iOS 8 is booted back on deck. Now I'm gonna show you guys how actually on how to uninstall this if you guys don't like it, right? So we're gonna open up terminal, okay? Now once you're inside terminal, we're gonna type it again, SU, okay? And then type in the password, which is E-L-P-I-N-E, -E, Alpine. All right, now once we're inside the root folder, we're gonna type in cool booter cli and then as a dash u and hit enter and then you will immediately uninstall the beta of ios 7 and your storage or, and your one gigabyte storage also will return back all right so thank you guys for watching in this video hope you guys enjoy playing with ios 7 beta 1 and I will, if you guys have any questions you can ask me or ask at the iDevice archive in the description, I will put his Twitter and also his Instagram. Alright, so thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll be catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.